$300,000. That's how much an Iranian operative was ready to pay somebody to kill the former national security adviser, John Bolton. That, according to Justice Department officials today. John Bolton, a longtime harsh critic of Iran. Justice Department officials say this man, Sharam Porsafi, was behind an attempt to kill him. They say he's a member of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary God's Quds Force. He's facing murder for higher charges. But as of now, he's overseas, not in U.S. custody, with very little chance he'll ever be caught. Here's how the feds say the plot was hatched. Porsafi allegedly reached out to someone he met over social media. He asked that person to take photos of John Bolton for a book he was writing. That person put him in touch with somebody else who they said could take the photos, but that person turned out to be an FBI informant. Eventually, Porsafi allegedly offered the informant $300,000 to help him eliminate John Bolton, 50 k for the informant and 250 k for anybody they hired to actually do the job. Officials say Porsafi even sent a photo of what appears to be stacks of cash and told the informant that the money was for the next job he had lined up for him. CBC senior Washington correspondent Eamon Javers now. Eamon, we just heard from John Bolton. Yeah, that's right. John Bolton himself on CNN just in the last hour. He joked that he's embarrassed at how low the price for his head was. But in all seriousness, he said he's concerned that the Iranians are targeting additional U.S. officials. Here's what he said. I think there are a substantial number of people who are vulnerable uh, to these Iranian efforts. And, and unfortunately, I'm afraid we, we may learn more. Now, according to the affidavit, the Iranians were willing to pay much more money, $1 million, to kill another former Trump administration official. The target there, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, according to a slow source close to Pompeo that I spoke to just over the past few minutes. Now, the U.S. government says this plot was apparently revenge for the U.S. airstrike that targeted Iranian military official Qasem Soleimani back in 2020. But because the person the Iranians hired for this was an informant, it didn't have much chance of success, and it doesn't make the attempt any less concerning, though. The Department of Justice today said the threat of this kind of attack inside the United States, well, it's rising. We face a rising threat from authoritarian regimes who seek to reach beyond their own borders to commit acts of repression, including inside the United States. This is an especially appalling example. U.S. Secret Service agents have been stationed at Bolton's home in the Washington suburb of Bethesda, Maryland, for months, and they were on the scene again there today. Now, according to an FBI affidavit, Porsafi told the U.S. source that he didn't care what method was used to kill Bolton and not to worry if the murder was traced back to the Iranian government. In November, the source traveled to Washington, D.C., and reported in to Porsafi, who was back in Tehran, sharing photos of Bolton's office. Porsafi allegedly said the parking garage would be a good place to kill Bolton. But the assassination, of course, never took place, Shep. Eamon Javers, thanks very much.